Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Stephen's a bit of a comedian. I've just been doing this show for, for the last ten minutes, and it turns out I'm talking to bloody no one. Stephen's just gone. We've got a problem. We're not live. So honestly, the patter was fantastic. <laughs> At the race course ground today, we had Tramia Rovers, the arch rivals. I've already done this bit once. We lose one now. It's not ideal, I know. Get your questions in. Get your super chats in. Interact with me today. I wondered why there was no questions coming in. Stephen, roll the bloody credits with you, man. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and I'm <laughs> I'm awfully sorry for the delay. I was absolutely smashing that bit of the podcast as well, and turns out, Stephen, what have you got to say for yourself before we start? Well, you know, it's lessons learned, isn't it? <laughs> you know, it's this is learned. the first time we've scheduled a live. There's this little extra button you've got to press to start the stream, and I didn't spot that. Well, I've done my thing. I thought I was carrying it fantastic. I am Sean Winter. I am your host. I am joined by the ultra-talented Mr. Stephen Baker, without whom this show would never exist, let me tell you. Have you noticed we're knocking it up a level again? We've got the headphones now, Steve, haven't we? A lot like Jeff Stell in here. Um, right, what I would like to do is, first things first, member shout-outs. Red Army level. We have got Michael A., who is the newest member. Am I correct in saying that? Yeah, I believe he joined us last Saturday during the um, the stream. Yeah, fantastic. Um, and, and while you're at it, guys, come on. Join the gang. Jay, obviously, who always supports this show, always supports me. And I was lucky enough, I went for a meal with Jay on Monday night. In fact, he treated me. I cannot talk highly enough about that man. Let me tell you. He really... I'm going to say a little thing on here. He cares. He cares about the town of Wrexham, the people of Wrexham. And he's an ultra-genuine man. And I just want to say thank you very much, Jay, because um, Monday meant a lot. It meant an awful lot. If you haven't already, guys, like and subscribe. Get this channel moving. And also, guys, we did start a little bit late, so if you want to share this uh, stream out and let everyone know it's going now. Yeah. A apologies. <coughs> Apolo I can't apologise enough for my colleague here, for my esteemed colleague. Yes, unbelievable turn of events. I, I was already breaking the game down a lot. Right, guys, it's not been the best day, has it? Pause for the effect. It's not been the greatest day. Here's a stat for you. Tramia haven't lost at the race course for 35 years. Now, I don't know if someone that's someone pulling on my yeah, we're leg. Yeah, we're going to have to have a look into that. Uh, we'll have a look into that. Um, Jonathan Taylor in the group with a stat there. He likes a stat as our Jonathan. Or was it Jamie Jones? It was one of them. Um, that is an astounding fact. I mean, we lose 1 0 at home. We, I mean, we haven't. Two home games, and we picked up one point, which I've got to be honest, I thought, yep, six points. We'll be, you know, we'll be cooking on the gasoline. It's not the case, is it? It's not the case, but it's not the end of the world. Guys, I want all your thoughts, all your feelings. Interact with me now. Your super chats. Obviously, I'll get them done first. I'll get to as many questions as I can. Get everything in, guys. What did you think of it? What could we have done better? Are you frustrated? Are we still going to do it? Where did you watch the game? Where you at the match? What did you think of the atmosphere? The away fans were pretty good, weren't they? Um... It's frustrating. It is frustrating. But, there you go. While I'm here, I just want to start this. Arthur. 100 years old. Lifelong Wrexham supporter. And let me tell you right now, what an unbelievable man. I've had the pleasure of having quite a few conversations with Arthur. Uh, and, his, and his lovely daughters, his family, Julian. Um, I just can't praise those guys enough. I really enjoy bumping into them. I make sure I go and speak to them. Especially Arthur. I think he's on one of my video diaries from last season. He's just, honestly, a very knowledgeable man, a lovely man, a gentleman. And on for me and Stephen and, you know, my boy, just a massive, massive happy birthday. 100 years old. And here is to 101 in League One. Yeah. So, Arthur, happy birthday to you. Let me read the team out for you today. Let's have a look what we've got here. So and just a reminder, guys, before we get into that, um, keep your questions coming in and we will answer them a little bit uh, later in the show. I'm just blowing the old conk. 
Um, as you can see, I'm on the milk because I've got chronic heartburn like you wouldn't believe. I've been on the Rennie Gel Wiggers, I've been on the Gaviscon, and it ain't budging, let me tell you, Flower. Right, so, Parkinson's customary 532. He was never going to change, was he? A Concord in goal, uh, you're back five wing backs. Well, so, so Barnett, Clareworth, O'Connell, Boyle, Mendy. I want to talk on Boyle quick. I said it last week, the best game of the Wrexham shirt. Because he's had his doubters, let's be honest. Um, you know, probably rightly so. He, 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 he certainly hasn't hit the ground running. But that, it, he's turning up now, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he was great. I want to see someone on O'Connell. I think he's playing out with his skin. And I noticed he got injured, didn't he? And we used all our subs. So I really, really, really hope he's not injured. Because he's playing out of his skin at the moment. Maxi Clareworth, uh, and Ryan Barnett, I, th I thought Ryan Barnett was good, uh, I thought Mendy was good, I, th I thought Mendy started the game fantastic to be honest, yeah, he, he kind of quietened off second half, Barnett, I, I don't think, he, he didn't have a great game Tuesday did he, I think Harrogate's left back on Tuesday, kind of done a number on him, uh, and he was, he kind of, he read him like a book, today different story, I thought he was great, sometimes he's in, he's in danger of not getting it in quick enough, but do you know what? He's a, he's, a, he's a great, great player, and I thought he played really well today. And, you know, you can tell he's playing well. I mean, he's keeping Bolton out the side, and every time Bolton's coming on, he's looking good. Captain Marvel back in the team, Super Luke Young. Our Captain Marvel, and he was actually, I thought he was tremendous. It's, you, bring, you bring Luke Young back in the team, it's like he's never been gone, isn't it? He just picks up where he left off, he just doesn't. What I just what a fantastic servant to this club he's been, just brilliant. I, I was a bit baffled why he got taken off, but Parkinson knows better than me. Fitness and what have you, I don't know. Andy Cannon, obviously uh, the goal. We'll go into that in a minute. Elliot Lee, uh, Fletcher Mullin didn't quite go for us, did it? First half, I thought Wrexham were. I mean, from the word go, I mean, listen, I've seen Twitter, I've seen some comments, I've, I've seen you know comments in my group and what have you. I thought first half Wrexham were excellent. I'm going to tell you, I thought they were excellent. You get your chats in, you get your whatever you think. Sean, I, I disagree. Get them in. Get them in. Interact with me. Get all these chats in. What what are your thoughts and feelings on it? But I thought we started the game excellent. I, I really did. We we, we went at it. We were, oh, we were by far the better team, weren't we? And then a ball straight over the top. It was a cracking ball, to be fair. Was it Jenna? Was it James? Uh, sorry, James. Was it Connor Jennings? Could have been obviously played for Wrexham. I think he got a couple of boots today, and I didn't quite like that because I know he's playing for, for our rivals, but he was great when he when he wore a Wrexham shirt. He was phenomenal. He always turned up for us. So, um, so yeah, the ball's gone through to Norris. Uh, uh, well, first things first. Cannon had a bit of a stink pot, hasn't he? He's had an absolute honk pot. But it happened. It's football. I mean, <laughs> he's he's our Mister Dependable, isn't he? And he is. The ball just, I mean, I'm just, put it in the bloody stands, man. He's missed it, the bugger. And then Norris has come in, and to be fair, it was a cracking finish. Um, That was probably one of their only shots of the game. And, in fact, I'll tell you the stats after. But we, I, I, I've I, got to tell you right now, I thought Rex were going to win this 2-1, 3-1. I thought they're piling the pressure on. We're going to score any any time now. We just can't hit the back of the bloody net, can we? And, you know, and we're whipping balls in the box. And uh, Mendy and Barnett. Those balls are getting whipped in left, right, and centre. So it's not for the lack of trying. Um, throughout the game, Wrexham had 55% possession. But right, I thought, you know, we battered them. I mean, especially first half. Bloody hell. We were absolutely all over them. Um, what I do want to do, sorry, I'm going to slightly off topic here. I, I, uh, I obviously coach on this Saturday morning. I want to give all my lads. Uh, for Gretzel and the Elevens, I want to give you a, a massive shout out because let me tell you, I've been in charge of this team now with Gemma. Um, we've been in charge now for since before Christmas. Anyway, so basically, I've got my philosophy on football. I've played all my life. I used to coach, and I love it. And today, I'm, I'm going to tell you because I'm ultra proud of these lads. They've took what they've done on the training pitch. Pass, move, pass, move. And he took it into the game. And I'm so proud of him. And I'm going to give our captain, Deacon, a big uh, shout here. Because let me tell you, the lad is a little git. And he knows he's a little git. But he's a phenomenal football player. He really is an unbelievable football player. And I'm going to give him a big shout today. Because 
sometimes I'm like, would you pass that bloody ball, lad? But let me tell you, he played like a captain. And if you're watching this, Deacon, I want you to turn up like that every week. So well done to you and well done to all the boys because you were absolutely tremendous. Elijah come back today scoring goals for us. So I just wanted to give him a quick plug because I'm so, me and Jen were so super proud of him today. So if you're watching this, guys, very well done to you. Back to the Wrexham game, yeah. So it, listen, it's all Wrexham. It was kind of an onslaught, wasn't it? Um, what have Stephen's got here? So after seven minutes, the first yellow card, uh, Yarny kicking the ball away after the Wrexham free kick was given. Then eight minutes, eight minutes, Tramia scored. Oh, God, was it that soon? Uh, 33 minutes, yellow card for Hendry, a late tackle on Barnett. Oh, I tell you what. Ooh, I thought that was a red, that. What did you think of that one? That could have been a red. Or did Barney make a bit extra of it? I don't know, but it was touch and go, that. Huh? That was really, really touch and go. Um, he's only he's only added three minutes. I'm, I've got to tell you now, I, I thought the referee had a bit of a... St I seem to always say this on ESD. I don't like to blame the referee. But I, I don't, you can't blame the referee for... But he had a poor game. He, he was... I think that game was a bit, bit too big for him, I thought. I thought he was very timid. Well, to be honest, I thought he was crap. And I don't really like saying that about refs, but he's had three minutes. Well, Barney was down for about four himself, and that was just him. Not to mention all, all their wasting time and what have you, which they're going to do. I get that. Stephen, how's the chat going so far? Is anyone piping up? Yeah, we've got a couple coming through. Brilliant. So I'm, I'm going to get onto them in a minute. Um, I'm going to carry back onto the game now. So second half, we we started on the front foot again. Second half, we started on the front foot, but we ca I, I thought we faded. I thought this is what I'm, I mean. I've seen some comments today calling them a disgrace and toothless and how you can call that team toothless is beyond me. You know. Because they don't stop trying. I mean, toothless would indicate that they haven't turned up. We turned up. You know, I listen, I, I've been at the race course ground on derby games where it has been toothless against, you know, years ago against Chester and that, and, and rightly so. But th that was, no, listen, they, they gave everything there. Wrexham gave everything, so I don't like that toothless. I, that's a load of crap, that. But we couldn't put the ball in the back of the net, could we? We definitely faded second half. We definitely faded second half. Credit to Tramia Rovers. They've done a number on it today. They've defended for their lives. Their keepers had a good game. Their defenders have been magnificent. Right, on 67 minutes, we had a triple substitution for Wrexham. Boyle, Young and Fletch came off. <coughs> on come Palmer, Dalby and Davis. Yeah, I thought Dalby did all right. He has his doubters. Uh, yeah, you know... I think he deserves his doubts sometimes, and that's not being, you know, I, I, th I think he can do more. I do think he can do, I, I don't like to come on and call players, and I'm not calling him out because he, listen, he played well today, but I can see why he, get, he does get his doubts, because sometimes he doesn't do enough, but I thought, I thought he made a difference, Dalby, when he came on. I thought out of the three substitutions, Dalby was the one who looked like he was going to make something happen. Davis, Jordan Davis. I mean that free kick. It was it was very unlike Jordan Davis, wasn't it? But you know he's 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 a goal threat. Jordan Davis is a goal, threat, and you can see that. I mean he he whistled one past the post. He's got a great strike on him. He can't seem to get in the side, can he? And I don't think he his work ethic is. I don't think his work ethic is is the same as your Andy Cannon or your. Luke Young or something there, but to me, John Davis is such a quality player, yeah, and you can see that the way he strokes a ball and what have you. I think it's a, a, a matter of time, sorry, before you see him back in the team. But he looks a threat for me. He looks, he looks, he looks like he could score, sorry, at any time. Anyway, then uh, on 69 minutes, Barnett's come off. I've alluded to. I thought he had a good game. Luke Bolton's come on. Now, I do think he's been playing very well for Wrexham. I d the last two games, I think, um, Harrogate, he came on, he changed it. I mean, uh, what is it? We, we, haven't, we haven't scored. We haven't scored at all. 
home in two games. Christ Almighty. Hallegate, I mean, we, you know, this is what I don't like. If Wrexham don't win, then, you know, I, I'm not going to go on to it, but don't flipping turn on the team because that's absolute crap. I don't like that because, again, against Hallegate, they did everything they could. But we weren't scoring, were we? I mean, is it a bit of a worry? What, what would you, is it a bit of a worry, do you think, that we're not scoring? I mean, but teams go through phases like this. This is football. You've got to remember this. Back to the games. We're on about Luke Dalton. Um, I thought he did well. I, I, I do like it. He seems to go inside more, doesn't he? You've got Barney who goes on the outside, and Luke Dalton seems to go on the inside a bit more, which I like that. Uh, I like that. Chamia Ch change, we don't mean need. Anyway, 77 minutes, yellow card for Andy Cannon. Wrexham change on 79 minutes. O'Connor, good to see O'Connor back, wasn't it? The old Mustang. Good to see him back. Cannon off. I mean, Cannon, listen, Cannon gives everything up. I think he's had a great season. 81 minutes, big chance for Elliot Lee. Tries one from distance. Oh, I tell you what, well, he's the keeper, McGee. <laughs> That's a nice save, that. That was a nice save deflected. Uh, and to be fair to him, I He's on the deck then, isn't he? Rolling round, you know, as if he's hurt himself. I get what I do with it. It's tactics. But, um, yeah, Steve, I'll tell you what. Let's go over to the chat for a minute, buddy. Let's, what are people saying? Right, let's have a look. Um, so, Vinius says Luke Bolton is ridiculous. I think that um, kicked in before we started the stream. Uh, we got Raymond. Them tram here were gobby bastards. Oh, they are. What if I'm bloody hell's me a port the buggers? Of course they are. I've I seen some comments about um, our audio as well, but let me know if you can hear that a bit better as well. I've turned a few things up. Um, will I am Bu? Uh, will I am Bu? I don't know if you know who that well, is. I am tuning in, is he? Fair um, play. I knew it was a matter of time before the big wigs <laughs> got involved, Stephen. It was a matter of time, mate. He, he says, um, is Parky's head in the sand? No, I see. Now, I know what you're saying here. But you tell me what Parkinson's done wrong today, please. Guys, you tell me what Parkinson's done wrong today because he changed it up. He switched it up at about 60 minutes, was it? But, you know, earlier than normal. I don't know what, why... It, I don't agree with... I Sorry, I don't agree with that. Because we're making chances. We're whipping the ball in the box. We're just... I think it's more Tramia's defending today. Fair play, Harrogate again on... On Tuesday, but we, we've got to break him down, haven't we? We have got to break him down. But no, I listen. <laughs> I seen uh, I seen something before. Someone wanted him sacked. Just we got the beggar's um, belief. Beggar's belief. Local pundit as well. Uh, Sean, let's go. Ah, the local pundit, Josh. Great, great, great. Uh, yeah, I've been on that podcast a couple of times. It's a great podcast, uh, and and if you haven't already, go over and support him. Uh, he's from LA, Josh. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's Josh. Josh Anthony. Josh, I'm sure. I'm sure it's Josh. I'm, jo just tell me if I'm wrong. I'm sure it's Josh Anthony. Really, really nice guy. Uh, I enjoy having a chat with him. And 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 uh, that's another podcast to go and get behind the local pundit on on YouTube. Uh, Will I am says hello, Mr. Pundit in the house. Um, <laughs> local pundit says Bew with the fireball. Brilliant. Um, Heatwave Dave, I like that. That's a good name. Heatwave Dave, I bet he's got a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, let us know if you've got a Hawaiian shirt uh, watching the show. Heatwave Dave, send me a picture with a Hawaiian shirt on and and like a flower necklace and um, some shades. Heatwave Dave, what a name. Top man, Dave. So uh, Heatwave Dave says, death or not the best day. No, mate, I couldn't, I, I couldn't agree more. It's never, and listen, it's never nice losing to your bloody bitter rivals. I mean, they did always one. We we went there. We earlier in the season we won one nil. Aaron Hayden header, wasn't it? But yeah. I, 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 did you think we missed McLean today? I thought Luke Young was great. I, I, I don't I don't think we missed McLean today. That I mean, and, and that's a bold shout by the way because McLean McLean's dynamite. He's absolutely dynamite. But it just it does just show squad we've got. Um, I'm going to give you some stats here, guys. Possession, Wrexham had 55%. Shots. <coughs> See, people say we're not making chances. We had 25 shots. But this is uh, this is one you're not going to like. Shots on target, four. We had nine corners. We give away seven fouls. Obviously, they had 45% possession. Uh, they had seven shots. They had three on target. 
corners they had four. I mean, they didn't. To be honest, they didn't. They didn't really. They come to do a number on us, and credit where it's due. It, listen, it's not easy for me to say this, but fair play to them. They've come um, and they've defended for their flipping lives. I've got to tell you, they've defended for their lives. So, um, oh, it's frustrating, guys. It's frustrating. Steve Moore in the chat, please. Right, back to the chat. Um, local pundit. Uh, Mariner not making the bench. Let's start him there. Mariner? Marriott, you mean? Marriott, yeah, sorry. Marius. No, ma See, I like Marriott. See, this is a bit of a talking point in the group. I'm in. Uh, I brought Johnny Taylor up on here before. Uh, and he thinks Marriott's absolutely crap. Which... I respect Johnny. Johnny's a good footballer himself, and Johnny's got, you know, Johnny knows football. So I find it astounding that he thinks that. I, I fought against Harrogate, or, or against Harrogate. I thought he'd come on and he'd change. Yeah, listen, he missed that with his left foot. But, but, I mean, when he gets one goal, he'll be up and running. I think he's a very good player. I think he makes things happen. And today, I was gutted. I mean, you know what? When we, we brought on Ollie Palmer, we brought on Jordan Davis, and we brought on Dalby. Well, there ain't much pace there, is there? And... I wanted to see Marriott because I thought he made a big difference on Tuesday. I don't know. Listen, I could be wrong, it, but it's my opinion. I think he's a good player, and I think we look more dangerous bringing him on. I think you know because he, he'll, he's, he's got a great touch. He'll turn in tight areas, and he's at him. You know, he's got him, he's got he's got him back pedaling. But will you tell me what you think? But I I think there's a great player there, and I, and I do think he's going to come good. My friend Jonathan doesn't thinks he's a terrible signing. Uh, and to be honest, a few lads in the group do. So I'm, I want to know your thoughts. But I, I mean, I like him. I really like him. I think he's, I think he's a great player. I think he's a great player, and I think we're going to see that. So um, yeah, who was that off? Was that off the local pundit? Was it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go on, Steve. Any more? Yeah. Well, I am. Is Parkinson a dinosaur in his non-changing tactics? To a certain degree, yeah. Yeah. No, I'll give you that. I, I mean, I'm, listen, I'm not slagging the man off. I think he's fantastic, and, and I hope he stays at Wrexham for years to come. I really do, and I mean that. I think he's a fantastic manager. I think he represents our club fantastically. I think everyone respects him. I think he commands respect. His win ratio is fantastic. The, the players he gets in, uh, you know, every, everyone can't say things highly enough about him. But what you're saying about the tactics, it, I yeah, I agree with you. I do agree. I think he's very stubborn, isn't he? I think the man's very stubborn. But listen, he's got all his experience in the game. We haven't, have we? He will. He, I mean, he the, the five three two. He trusts it, doesn't he? He trusts the five three two, and he's not for changing. I mean, sometimes what I would like to see is, listen, it's easy for me to sit here and go, "Whoa, I'd like us to see us do this." It's easy for us, isn't it? From the outside looking in, it's easy. He's the one with the pressure on him. But I would like, I'd love to see it sometimes start with the four in midfield. For instance, on we finished the game against Harrogate on Tuesday, and we had our top three. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong. Was Mullin, Fletch, Marriott, and then you had Elliot Lee. And I thought we looked flipping dangerous. You know, we were throwing the kitchen sink at them, but we did. I'd love to see us go with that. I'd, I'd love to see us start with the diamond. I mean, even if you've got. Uh, Fletcher and Mary up top, Mullin just behind because I thought he played that very well today. Uh, what someone put in the group, I won't tell you, but um, someone put in the group said Mullin was the worst player on the pitch. <laughs> I, I, do I live on a different planet or something, or, or am I just you know? I thought I thought Mullin was really good, bar from he didn't he didn't get a goal, but he he works his he works his nuts off, man. I thought and I thought he was good. I thought he, was, <laughs> thought he was really good. But I get it. Wrexham lose and people have frustrations and they need to vent some. Which is, listen, and we've lost a tram here as well. You know, I said before about people seeing the toothless and that. I always, th That's just a load of rubbish. They were, they're not toothless. They weren't toothless. Wrexham were at them. Second half, we, we definitely died down second half. I, I mean, there's no hiding away from that. The first half, the tempo was, you know, we were at them. We were looking good. We were getting down the wings. I thought the wing backs were brilliant. Second half, we didn't see it as much, did we? Uh, someone said about Luke Bolton, and he, he looked great, doesn't he? He comes on the inside fantastic, he really does. Um, Steve, let's have a little bit more from the chat, if you don't mind. 
Yeah, uh, we've got JB65, and he's just letting us know that he couldn't hear us very well, but uh, we turned the uh, volume up on that, JB65. Let us know if that's better. Can you hear me now, guys? Yeah, I, I can see it on the monitor, so um, it should be good now. It's, it's probably doing you a favour not hearing me, to it's, be it's honest. It's because we're trying some different mics on that as well. We're experimenting with a few things. Well, the thing is, Steve, we, we wanna, we're want to dead serious about the show again now. We're proper serious, aren't we? So, There's so trial and error. Yeah, we're going to, you know, we are going to, one day we will get to perfection level. But improvements every time. It's improvements every time. Fair play to producer Stephen. He knocks it out of the bloody park. Credit to you. So I'm very lucky to have him. Uh, yep. Will I am? Maybe if we had uh, Zalatan. Zlatan. It, it starts with uh, Z and an L. I can't pronounce that. Zlatan. Zlatan. I, I definitely can't say his uh, second name. Um, in ten spot, we could put these headers in. Is it, does it start with an I? Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Well, he, I was Zlatan, my Zlatan is Fletch. <laughs> that's what I. That's what I said. He's the lower league Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He wasn't really at it today, was he? Which is, I mean, you can't you can't you can't say that very often about Fletcher. He's he's, he's incredible. It just didn't go for us. I, I, credit to Trammy, you've got to give it um. Buggers, uh, they defended fantastic. They defended fantastic. I mean, it's never nice. It's never nice seeing bloody Trammy fans at a race course um, going away happy, is it? You know, it's never nice. It's never nice losing to your rivals. People are angry, people are bitter. You'll see me angry when we don't turn up. If Wrexham don't turn up to games like that, then then I'd be angry. But we did turn up. We you know, we were at it, we they did give everything. So I'm kinda of one of these now. I'm I kind of I know where we've come. I know the players I was what I've been watching at the race course for you know, I remember some of the absolute showers we've had wearing our shirt and I and I remember Derby games where we haven't really turned up and people who are just there to p- take a paycheck. So they turned up. They were at it. You can't fault the the effort levels from from Exum. You can't fault the effort levels. I, I and I think you know to me we're lo- we're lucky to have a side that we've got now. Uh, let's not get too entitled. People are frustrated. I get it. We're still in. You know we're we're still on for back to map promotions. We are. What are we now? Yeah, the league table. Here we go. So. Mansfield at the top, oh, they've won today, I take it. I haven't looked at all the scores. They're on 72 so they've won today. Stockport, Stockport not played today. Um, so, so they're five, sorry. Mansfield are five points ahead of us now on the same games. Oh, buggers. You buggers. We've had a bad week, haven't we? We've had a bad week. Stockport on the same amount of points, but they've got two games in hand. So let's go down the table a bit, obviously. Milton Keynes Dons. They've played one more game than us. Oh, God, they're on the same amount of points. They've come from bloody nowhere, haven't they? Crew. I'm sure Crew lost today, which is. Oh, God. It's tight. It's tight. It is so bloody tight. But I do believe we're going to do it. Steve, can I have some more from the chat, please? Uh, not much more from the chat, but uh, JB65 says the audio's much better now. So. Um yeah, we, we were a bit late to the party tonight, weren't we, Sean? So we didn't have much time to do a few uh, tasks that we usually Well, we do. were a bit late to the party. When the party did get really I, I was still setting up some of the graphics just before. Yeah, you know, but... We were setting up the set as we were going, weren't we? When the party did get really started, it turns out I was talking for well, God knows how long and we weren't even on. So, so when you click on OBS to stream, it usually, you know, that's it. But when you schedule it, there's this little extra button you've got to click, so I didn't know that, so... Uh, I've got to tell you, though, I'm, I'm used to talking to myself, Steve, you know what I mean? And, <laughs> and I'm used to no one listening. So, um, um, well, I am. Crowd started leaving early as we were losing the fans. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't. I mean, or are we losing the fans? I don't I, think we I, are. You might, hang on a minute. That's a good. I'm going to tell you right now. I've noticed the last couple of games we started to get a little bit. Oh, it's, you're not losing the fans, but football fans will be football fans, and football fans are fickle. We're all in danger of doing it. Let's be honest. We all think we know best. Um, it's easier to... You should be doing this, you should be doing that. You know, we're on the outside looking in. Um, I think sometimes fans need a bit of perspective, but listen, it's it's a derby game. We've lost to Tramia, so it's not nice. It's not nice. You know, their fans have gone back to bloody uh, Birkenhead. 
I got a bit of a head like Birkin there today. Um, yeah, and, and they've gone home happy, haven't they? Um, which is never nice for us to see. But there you go. It's football. We've got eight games left, guys. Eight games left. Someone, uh, I think it was Rooster, Russ, um, Russ Richards. I'm, I'm sure he put, we've only won three out of our last 11 games. Is that right? If so, that's bloody worrying. I'll have to check that up. So I'm just thinking top of my head now. So, yeah, he's going to be right because you think Gillingham, MK Dons, we didn't get a win. We beat Morecambe. Uh, Forest Green, Drew. We've drew against Harrogate. Christ Almighty. We've lost today. So there's, yeah. 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 I mean, I was only saying last week, listen, we've got the players to handle this. And I still think we have. I do. I still think we have. But it's, no one said it was going to be easy. No one said it's going to be easy. I mean, home form, I mean, our home form, has, it's been the best in the English leagues, isn't it? So, so what was his comment again? Sorry, now I've got the stats up. Uh, we've only won three out of the last 11 games. Ah, uh, I haven't gone that back far. I've just gone back to the last three games, sorry. Ah, the Roosters ahead of you, isn't he, see? But no, hey, Russ knows his stuff, so... So in that in the um, in the promotion chasing pack now, just on us, we've got MK Dons, we've got Crew, Barrow, Wimbledon. Yes, yeah, I've got, I've got our form here, so we've... Our last one, two, three, four, four... Last six games, we've lost Drew... 1-1, one, one, drawn, lost. Oh. But then, I'm looking at Mansfield here, so they've won the last two. But they've lost, one, lost, one. Stockport... I'm sorry, I'm reading it from the other way, buddy, round. Stockport, their form is... Drawn, one, drawn, drawn, lost, lost. So, you know, they've they, they got to come to the race course ground, these teams as well, guys, so... It's just... But isn't it... I'm talking to Peter Hughes, my friend, uh, uh, the Hughes family. I absolutely love him. Jamie and Dan, Nikki, uh, Emma, Pete, Val. Um, I was talking to Pete, and he obviously Pete's been watching Wrexham all his life. And he said to me, but isn't it nice we've got something to play for? Do you remember all those seasons where, I don't know, we finished, we can't, we can't go in the playoffs and we can't go down. You're just playing just to finish the season. Remember those times? Yeah, it's all too familiar, isn't it? Well, we've got something to play for. You know, let's really get behind them. I thought the Wrexham fans were good today, you know. you know, uh, Especially when, when Tramia scored. We really got behind the team. But it is what it is. Steve, is the chat lighting up? Guys, get your questions and get your, you know. Well, yeah, we've got Christina in the chat. Uh, Christina Luckfield. Um, I'm sure she's on my Twitter. Is she Maybe. from New York? Are you from New York? Um, found the subs particularly frustrating today. Lee seemed better to come off than Young. Feels like we subbed the players based on reputation slash potential rather than the performance that day. I'd say that's a great comment, and I probably agree with you there, Christy. I didn't get overly excited seeing the players come on. Ollie, I mean, no disrespect, you know, I love Ollie Park. Ollie, Darby, and. Um, Dalby, sorry, and John Davis. I just think, you know, I wanted I wanted Marriott there today. I did. I wanted some pace in behind him, but like I alluded to before, I thought Dalby did play very well. I didn't I didn't I thought Luke Young was fit, 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 spit out Sean. I thought Luke Young was brilliant. I thought he was. He always he just he comes in, it's like he's never been gone, Christine. I think you'll probably agree. He's he's uh but whether whether it's fitness levels or what, I don't know. But he was, and he made a difference. He was only on for four minutes against Harrogate, but he made a difference. Um, uh, Christina says she is from New York, by the way. Bosh! Yeah, she is on my Twitter. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, Will Am says we did win um, four out of the last thirteen. Four out of the last thirteen. I tell you what, my memory's getting better. I, I try to remember all the. But I'm, I'm to, to maintain that third place, there must be a lot of draws in there as well. Yeah, just so, just carry points. on talking for a minute. Do you need to blow my hooter? Yeah, so we've got Christina's confirmed, uh, just saying yes in the chat, that it, she is indeed from New York. we got um, Will I Am. Um, so you think we'll be 5, 6 or 7th in the playoffs in these eight games? Mm, who, right, Stephen, can you get the fixtures up for me? We are going up automatically, guys, by the way. 
believe. So we've got Grimsby Town at Grimsby next. Oh, I, I, I hate going there. That's a, on a Saturday. Then, as I mentioned to you, we've got one on the Friday, which is an odd day, but that's the Good Friday. So that's Wrexham at home against Manfield's Town. Mansfield so that, Town. So that's going to be a biggie. We've got, we've, we've got to beat them. We've got to beat them. We've got to bounce back. We, You know, we're having a little bit of a... Oh, God. It's tense, isn't it? It's bloody tense. Well, then we move into um, April the 2nd. You've got Doncaster, Rovers versus Wrexham. That's a way, that, isn't it? Yeah, um, quarter to eight at night. Yeah, that's a way, that. that oh. you got, um, <laughs> I know we've got crew coming up as well. I know we've got... Who else have we got to play? Have we got to play? We've got to so play... You've got Colchester after that on the uh, following Saturday. That's a way, that, isn't it? Because yeah. that um, is also a way. Yeah, I met. Um, that's Essex, that isn't it? I'm sure it's Essex because the only reason I know is me and the boys are meant to be going down there if we can get tickets because um, we met friends on holiday last year. Tell, L Tell. Um, I, I don't think we are going this time, but um, we we said we we're going to go down there on the away game. But so, so then Tuesday the 9th of April, you got Wrexham at home against Crawley Town. Crawley, so Crawley are sat in tenth. I'm just looking at Crawley here now. Yeah. <sighs> Following that, Saturday the 13th, we've got Wrexham at home against Forest Green Rovers. Forest Green, yeah. Uh, oh, I mean, <laughs> normally you look at Wrexham at home, you think, yeah, three points. I mean, I mean, I've got to tell you now, whether that's me getting ahead of myself, probably I am in danger of doing that quite often. I thought six, but I thought, listen, we'll be sat top of the table, six points out, you know, at home. But it's not, you know, it's not. But you've got to stick with them. You've got to get behind them because it's not like we not played well in those games. I mean, a couple of people said that we were a disgrace today. That's, <laughs> come on. I, I mean, I'm, I must have watched a different game. We we went. I thought I thought first half we were outstanding, bar putting the ball in the back of the net. Second half, we definitely died down. Yeah, you, there's no getting away from that fact. We definitely died down. I, I've already touched on it. So is the home form becoming a bit of a worry? Don't worry about it. And the um, the following Saturday, second to last game, you've got Crew at Crew Ground, Wrexham. I tell you what, what a dump that is as well. Crew. Uh, but I think they saved the best to last, haven't they? Stop it all, yeah. I, I do. Twenty seventh of April. Yeah. We'll win the league, guys. I it, told. It, it's going to end up that being the decider. I bet you. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll you know, both. But listen, I told you, I've dreamt it. I know what's going to happen. It's fine. We win the league. I've told you. Everyone, calm down. I've told you. <laughs> Sean's dreamed it. Yeah, I've dreamed it. It'll happen, you know. Attendance at the race course today, by the way, was 12,519. Sorry, Steve, I'm going to take this opportunity. Uh, I, I mentioned uh, my Charlie team before, the under-11s. Now, next year, we go into, we play nine aside. So I'm looking for some... I know this goes out to all people around the world now. Now, these young men are absolutely unbelievable. Let me tell you, they train so hard, they give everything, you know, and... Since I've been in charge of them, me and Gemma, sorry, we have won for, uh, 14 games, we've lost four, and we've drew two. Now, you know, these lads are really putting in the effort and doing exactly what I ask, and I'm, and I'm so proud of them today. So I've just got here. I'm looking for some sponsorship for them for next year. Uh, I'm looking... I We've got Red 10 who sponsor my um, Lenny's team on the sevens. But next year, I need new... I, I want some big sponsorships, basically. Uh, and if you or your business or anyone else knows, I want these lads looking the part. As in, do you get the logos on the shirts and that? Yeah, lo lo that kind of logos on the shirts. Yeah, logo and, and then your team photos and you know. So I'm, I'm with my manager's gear as well. Uh, and you, and your business will be featured on this show as well. By the way, let me tell you, by for doing that, I want to get these boys kits, smart kits, tracksuits, bags. I want them honestly. The effort I'm going to put into these lads is, you know. We we go we're building something special is what I'm what I'm about to say and I want these lads really looking the part so anyone just get in touch with me I don't want to go on I don't want you to think I'm begging or something here I'm not I I want these lads to have everything because yeah, they're flipping I, I think they'll look good running around the next fade the studio shirts yeah you better put <laughs> you better put your bloody hand in your pocket then Steve I'm telling you <laughs> but I tell you what hey they would if you want to sponsor it mate. Um, and we've got Chris McGowan in the chat. Uh, welcome back. I remember him from last week. Yeah, um, hiya, Chris. Welcome back, buddy. Thanks for tuning in, the men, pal. So he's just saying I was really bummed out today. 
if we just would have got the draw, we would have had second place alone. Um, now it's a three-way tie for the second place points-wise. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no I listen. <laughs> it's it's not a nice feeling, is it? it and it is, and, and you did, and you do get bummed out because you get your hopes up. But it's a big game. It's um. You know, it's a big game. Oh, and I've got to say sorry. Uh, i got an apology to make here. He's not talking to me at the moment, Gavin. Have you noticed he's not in the chat? Oh. He gives me the silent treatment. Well, what happened? Fair play, mate. He had a ticket for me today. And and I, and I do really appreciate it. And I do love him to bits. But anyway, after our football game this morning, me and the boys had McDonald's. And I, I woke up at 5 to 3. And I was like, oh, my God. I've had missed calls and that off him. And basically, he's fuming with me. But it doesn't take much. He's a big woman. Uh, anyway, he's giving me the silent treatment. I even sang a voice note to him saying sorry, and he's still not talking to me, so I do apologise, Gavin. Stephen, chat, please. Uh, that's it for the chat for now, but Quite if anyone else has week. got any uh, questions... Yeah, any questions, get them. How long have we been going for, Steve? Um, I think nearly an hour. Uh, f well, 41 minutes, actually, I can yeah. say it now. Yeah, so if he, if he don't get too much more, we can, we can you know... We, we've done our bit for today, haven't we? But uh, who's our next game now, Steve? You've got the fixtures there. I mean, I should know this, shouldn't I? Come on, Sean. Get your head in a bloody game, mate. I should have wrote her on the stat sheet. So it's, no, uh, I know. It's you... Gr Grimsby Town, anyway. Oh, sorry, Grimsby, Grimsby. Oh, God. Grimsby bloody town. I, I hate that they, place. They can do with a win now. Yeah, they Get that morale back. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's not for the one to try in, is it? I mean, you know. Oh, What, and, what uh, was the possession stats today? 55% we had. Percent. But, uh, yeah, percent. Spit it out, Sean. It felt more, didn't it? First half, I mean, first half, it, I thought it was an onslaught. I thought it was an absolute bloody onslaught. Uh, hello to my boys, Charlie and Lenny. Daddy loves you. Uh, I'm missing them tonight. I was going to, um, I was going to be out with Gavin, and, and they're going to their, they're going to their ninnies tonight. And I'm missing them. I'm gutted. I'm not going home to them tonight, so I'm a bit, I'm needy at the better times. I'm, I've got my lads tonight, so I'm a bit gutted. But, hey, boy, dad loves you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Um, my dad will be watching. Oh, my brother, Josh, who watches the show now. Hey, Joshy, Daniel, my mother, my nan. Um, I'm, saying, <laughs> I'm just trying to cover everyone. Stepdad always watches it, so uh, it's nice, isn't it, having your family support you and watch the show? Oh, aye. You know, it mean, it's, it's nice, and I make sure I don't swear, Mum. And then, Samantha, if you're watching, I, I am thinking about going to McDonald's. Sean's made me hungry. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm going to have another takeaway after the game, Steve, honestly. I'm an absolute pig of a man. That that means he wants to go to McDonald's with me. I know I had one before. I was thinking of KFC, I was, Steve. Ooh, we had one of them last week. Oh, God, I love one. The, the Colonel, we call it. We're going to see the Colonel. The Al Kentucky, innit? And now, we're going off football a bit, but I tell you what... How's this for not giving up? The colonel believed in his chicken so much that he wouldn't stop driving at home, right? And people were people called the colonel nuts. They said, you'll never get your Kentucky chicken out. Well, there you go. That man never stopped believing. That man never stopped. Like me, I'll never stop believing. You know, if you don't believe in anything, yeah, what think, have you got? I think we've got a few more. This is not the fall. There's a few more improvements, so get them in by next week and... Uh, We'll see what you guys think of the format as well. Mm. I'm looking forward to watching this when I get home, Steve. I've got to be honest, I do. Um, yeah, we've got all them other slides I showed you as well, but I couldn't get it in time, so it's going to be looking uh, closer to that. Yeah, and we're looking BBC to do it what, what, ev vibe. every Saturday now. Uh, every Saturday, half seven, would you say? Yeah, I'd say half seven, maybe half six when we get a bit slicker. Yeah, well, you know, just, just so people... Get, so and we'll press the button to start. I, yeah. I wish I could get that footage... Of Sean just talking to no one. Yeah. <laughs> the local talking. pundit says MK Dons uh, need to help everyone out. Yeah, I, I take it. So I take it by him saying that I, he knows. They his need to beat everyone. He knows his stuff, Josh. You know, he knows his bloody stuff. Um, the local pundit, I give him that. Uh, and it's just one more thing to mention. Uh, we can get a couple more guests in here, so that's some of the work that's been done this week. So we might be able to get a couple more people than we've ever. Yeah. Had oh, Tommy Kaus is going to come. Sorry, he couldn't do it today. Tommy Kaus is going to come. Okay, okay. I know uh, everyone seems to love what me and Tom do. We say we work well together. So, and, and to be honest, I mean, I push his show as well. You know what I mean? I, I'm one of these people. I like to, I like to see everyone do well, and this is the way it should be. So if you if you you know go over to Tommy Kaus's Twitter um, this week in Wrexham, it's called something with uh, 
men in blazers. Tom's honestly, Tommy's great at what he does. So, you know, yeah. and, and, and I know me and Tom work well together. And we enjoy working together. So, but if you haven't, go and watch that because you know, he got his camera guy who goes with him, and it's kind of Tom, Tommy's job now. And and you know what? It's what he should be doing because he's great and he's got a great opinion, and he doesn't mind being controversial. Our Tom does he? He'll just say no. it as, he says it as it is, and that's why I love him so much. Steve, anything else from the chat before we wrap it up, mate? Uh, no, I just can't wait to sort the lighting out for next time because you look amazing and I've had no time to set my thing up. But uh... it's, been a long, it's been a long time since anyone said that to me, mate. <laughs> Let me tell you right now, it's been a long, long time before anyone said that to me. So what, are we, we going to wrap it here, are we? Yeah, I think that's it for yeah. today. Guys, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Please keep sharing the positive stuff, um, the positive comments. If you've got negative comments, keep them to yourself because... Come on, give me a break, innit? But um, but for every, everyone who listens and everyone who tunes in, you know, let's keep building the audience. We're going to be at this right now. We're going to keep improving. We're going to keep doing this. We're going to keep doing it regular. We're going to be a show that you can count on. We're going to keep bringing you Wrexham-related news, uh, fixtures, games, reactions, and so on. If there's something you'd like us... You, if, if there's something you'd well, like to well see in the show... Well, I um great show, my dudes... Oh, Honestly, it's going to be so much better next week. I just couldn't get all the fancy stuff in this Cheers, week. Cheers, Will. Top man. Real, real top man. Honestly, and everyone who's... Um, where are the guys who slammed Dudu aren't into this week? But if they are, I remember his name. Uh, Alfie was a young man. So, hello to Alfie. Again, my football team today, absolutely outstanding, boys. If you're watching, I couldn't be proud of you. We get into training again on Tuesday, we work on what we work on, we work on the way we play, and we carry on getting better and better and better. And before long, lads, no one will stop us, I promise you. Proud of you all. Yeah, and like one of the things I want to do, just to give you a preview, is like when we're talking about the league table or some kind of new, you know, it's going to come up on the screen, you can interact with it, you can see the table moving yeah. up and down. When he talks through the lineup, you'll see the lineup. When he talks about the stats, so it's just going to be a bit more interactive but uh, we just went out of to time that. yeah look today, forward to unfortunately that. well you've, you've you've been doing bits this week anyway haven't you you've been, you've yeah, been doing I've, your bits this week you've been, you so, know. so I've been going to work all day then sorting the kids up and the kids to bed clean the house do the dishes or whatever you're you a know, busy do, man do my fair share hey, hey you can tell his missus is watching can't you and then you, I you even can get, tell his missus is watching you know, I do the dishes bit, <laughs> of, bit, bit of food yeah. with the missus bit of EastEnders and then when she goes to bed I've been suffering and coming in here yeah, working you do. till like 12 or 1 in the morning and then going to work the next day so you, it's been really difficult you but, do um, and fair play uh, I'm we're, we're, and we're all very lucky to have Steve and let me tell you he's an absolute whiz and uh, we'd all be lost without him because this show would not exist so um, yeah again thank you very much really really appreciate it we'll see you next Saturday when hopefully we come back with three points Oh, God, I hope so. Thank you very much, guys. Keep sharing the positive stuff.